Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I am very excited to be bringing you my impressions of Broken Age. So this is a little bit of a different impressions video because normally I play for about half an hour before doing the video, and last night when I sat down to play for half an hour, I played for three hours until I beat the game in one sitting. So <laughs> I guess we could just call it a review there, it's, it's that good. But a uh, little bit of history about the game because it does have a bit of a history. This is a game by uh, Double Fine, who you probably know from games such as uh, Psychonauts and Stacking. And of course, Double Fine is led by Tim Schafer, who anyone who is familiar with kind of classic adventure games, you know, knows the name Tim Schafer from working on things like Day of the Tentacle and Secret of Monkey Island and Grim Fandango. Like all these really, really great point-and-click adventure games. So what happened was uh, Tim Schafer was getting lots of requests for another point-and-click adventure. And he decided if people wanted it, then, <coughs> excuse me, then they would put up money for a Kickstarter. So they kickstarted the game with an original funding goal of four million dollars, uh, <laughs> $400,000, and got $3.3 .3 million. So they almost got $4 million, actually. But, so, you know, they it, it blew their goal, like, out of the water, how much money they got. And this game is now available on Steam. It is $25, and that gets you the first act, which is out now. And when the second act comes out, it'll automatically update if you buy it. So it's $25 for both acts. Like I said, this one was about three hours, so I would guess that the second one is as well. But what I'm going to do is... Just kind of jump in on a new save here and explain to you what exactly is going on with Broken Age. So, we've got our two main characters here. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and unlike a lot of classic adventure games, we actually get to swap between these two really as often as we want. So, what I'm going to do is play the beginning of each of them. And I'm going to start with uh, Shay. Rise and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off duty. Mom's gonna be here soon, and you know how she is. Oops. Here she comes. <laughs> Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel. Oh. Computer. Snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. <laughs> oh. Computer. Off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> yeah, that is quite the mean sound. <clears throat> I mean, any anyone who's played anything by Double Fine or anything with Tim Schafer's okay. name attached to it. Is, is probably, you know, already, already understanding what's going on here. Double Fine games always have a great, great sense of humor. They're, you know, they're just hilarious. Like, I couldn't even count the amount of times I, I laughed out loud last night playing this. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm probably going to start talking over... So one of the fine things you can do here is you can actually you, you can keep saying no for a really long time, but I'm just gonna why not go ahead and say yes. Eventually it'll force you to choose something, but you can say no to a lot of funny options. Um, <clears throat> so one of the interesting things to mention, kind of first off, is. You won't be sorry, Commander. So I got my spoon, and just like regular, you know, just like the classic adventure games, you get an inventory and then you get to use that inventory to try and solve puzzles. In this case, it was eating cereal. <clears throat> um, what I was going to mention, though, is one of the really standout things about this game is, is actually the voice cast. Um, Shay, for example, is voiced by Elijah Wood, 
Um, Jack Black voices a character okay, later computer. in the game. What's the big emergency? Uh, Will I'm Wheaton voices a character. Pendleton Ward voices a character. You know, there's all these like really, okay, really Captain famous Sweet. names that they got attached to the project, which is really we are awesome. Currently tracking multiple developing crises that need <coughs> urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. <laughs> Second, there's a runaway train in System Seven that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And uh oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? <laughs> so, um, you know, we, we get to go choose to do something. But back, back to the voices. The voices are just, you know, the voice cast they got is just like one part of the game that, come on, you know, kind of fits in with the whole game just being like loaded with, with like quality content. Like, one, one of the things that really hit me was the beautiful art, and everything's like hand-painted, and it just looks fantastic. Like, I, I don't know very many other times when I've seen a game look this unique, but also this, like, beautiful at the same time, if that makes sense. Uh, you know, so the art is, is just incredible all the way through. The voice acting and the sound is great all the way through. And of okay. course, like, because it's got Tim Schafer attached to it, by. the gameplay is, is awesome. You know, there's, there's all the, you can do tons of little fun Aww. stuff. Uh, what I will say, because I, you know, I have played some of the, some of the more classic adventure games as well. I will say that uh, one of the nice things that I noticed was that the, the puzzles in this were typically easier to solve than kind of like the classic puzzle games. Um, you know, there wasn't any... There wasn't anything that was like too abstract, which I appreciated. And I don't know, maybe some classic puzzle game fans aren't going to enjoy that, but I found it to be a huge improvement over over you know kind of the way that puzzles were pretty abstract in in classic puzzle games a runaway train a spaceship under attack and a mysterious object on the hull so i think what i'll do is i'll probably do like one more of these with shay and then defend the friendship circle i'm going to switch over to vela um, what, I, what I found was that because each each character their their story is split into sections and what I found was that the beginning of Shay's section was was a little slow but it it made sense in the story because it, it kind of fits in with the fact that you start to get the point that Shay is living kind of a boring life he's living on a spaceship but it, it's boring because his computer parents are like controlling him and, and trying to make him safe. So his story gets really, really exciting in the second half. Whereas, yes, I felt that that uh, Vela's story had had more exciting parts. I think throughout. And of course, like I said, this is this is only Act One. So. Mission should we go on next, sweetie? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna we go here because then this will give me an opportunity to switch characters. So you know that this ends up only being half the game, and the game ends with a really, really big cliffhanger that I'm not this going to spoil at all. And basically, really? it, I mean, it, it just got me wishing that Act 2 was out now. <laughs> That's not worse. Okay, so, the nice thing is anytime oh, I will open my present real quick. Why not? Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, look. It's another Grab and Gary robot. <laughs> Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. Um, so, like I said earlier, one of the things that really stands apart from other adventure games is this ability to switch characters at any time. 
So what I basically did was anytime that I was feeling stuck, I would just switch characters. And then, you know, you get to still play the game, but you wouldn't just be like getting stuck and trying every item in your inventory with every other item, see if anything combined. Instead you could just go get a fresh start the with the other character. So, now we have Vela's side of the story. <coughs> there you are! I was getting worried! Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! So, one of, one of my favorite things about this is that we have two very different characters in very different environments, but their stories are very, very similar. <coughs> Excuse me. And Hello? that's kind of what, what ties it all together. And I really appreciate that. Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There's my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother's trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. <laughs> oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <sighs> So, <clears throat> excuse me. So what I'm going to do is just kind of rush through this part a little bit because Grandpa Beastender? A lot of this part is about Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you I <clears throat> Is is about a lot of the dialogue with the other characters. So I can solve the puzzle here without really uh oh, spoiling too much. Oh, yes. <laughs> better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. <clears throat> so basically what, what we've got here is we are having this maiden feast Any idea where today. Knife is? We're late. If I knew I would have and... that cake, shoved it down your gullet, and had us out the door already. <laughs> oh. Uh, so basically, we've we've got Can this maiden's feast, maiden's feast, Why and we're told that it's a big honor, training? and we're we're gonna see what what happens How many here. Feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new grand mog appears every fourteen years, and I'd have seen six of them. So hey, are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. <laughs> What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> <coughs> okay. the d I mean, the dialogue in this is just need great. To know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. But I don't want to give too much of that dialogue away. So... Uh, so this is one thing that comes up over and over, though. Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chandra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. So... I gotta go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. So Vela wants to basically destroy Mog Chandra. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna find it. <laughs> Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> uh, why not? So, this is how we, uh, right, so now we've got our cupcake and we've got a towel, but the towel does not come into play quite yet. So, here's how we are going to get our knife back. Yes. <laughs> Oh, whoops. I'd better go right. find that knife. <laughs> For me? Split so, you can offer to split it, 
And oh, what do you know? He had the knife. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Yeah, I really can't stress enough just how good the game looks. Nothing. I didn't say anything. The um, the the painted art style just really really works well with everything. Time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mob Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. So, like I said, I'm going to play a little bit more of Vela's story just because the beginning of Vela's story is uh, a lot more exciting than the beginning of Shay's. Shay's gets really exciting near the end of his story, but I figured I would show off a little bit of Shay's story and then kind of end this in a pretty exciting way. <coughs> So, it's time for uh, Mog Jothra to come. Show him what you've made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. <laughs> What do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win first, huh? Well, it's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win. So basically, the puzzle here is to, to say good luck. Bye. figure out what you need to do and what you need to get from everyone, hey, I've got a plan. so I that you can escape. I tried to mock Chopper with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. <laughs> well, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Sorry, but beauty is nothing without a look. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? <laughs> it does, but they're made out of chocolate. Oh, that's Gardens, not good. I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No! I give my life! <laughs> no! Me! Sheesh. And, um, we, in, in Vela's story, we continue to kind of see this as, as we go through the game, because we end up in couple different places and basically all of the little kind of villages around where where Vela lives are all obsessed with Mog Chathra. But it, it's kind of funny and interesting to see the different ways that each of them view Mog Chathra. <coughs> So this is about to get a little ridiculous. Yep, om nom nom. Oh man. So, now we are back in control. Hey, can I have a drink of that water? So what we have to do is quickly try and figure out how to get the items that we need to get out of here. So this will kind of be the only puzzle that I really spoil, but I mean this is only one small part of the game, so there's quite a bit left. Should have been me. 
<laughs> I just love that every time one of them gets eaten up, the others are jealous that it wasn't them. It's so ridiculous, but at the same time, it's it's just like classic um, kind of Tim Schafer humor. So, what I'm going to do is this. So obviously we we give her the towel. And now we've got the drumstick on our dress, which some of you may have already put this together. Is going to attract the bird. And then we can use our corset to capture the bird. And we gotta use the knife to cut herself out. And that pretty much ends the uh, first section of Vela's story in Broken Age. So I'll kind of let this uh, cutscene play out. And then I will uh, wrap up my thoughts for you guys. Um, one of the things I will say, because I may get requests for this, um, as of right now I'm not going to do this as a Let's Play, just because it is still fairly new, and I think if people want to see the story then they should, you know, support Double Fine and, and purchase the game. Uh, I may do a Let's Play of it closer to when Act 2 comes out, so that then I can show off Act 2 because I can pretty much guarantee that the day Act 2 comes out, I'm probably gonna do what I did with this one and play through it in one sitting. Because I had just an absolute blast with this game. And I still am, even the second time through. I mean, I wish I could have spent a little more time showing off some of the, some of the funnier dialogue, but I don't want to give up too much in my, in my first impressions video. And this kind of brings us to the next section of Vela's story. So, the way this works is that, I mean, you can spend as long as you want with either character. So, I think what I ended up doing was I played about half of Shay's story, about half of Vela's, and then I finished Shay's, and then I finished Vela's. But you can do whatever you want. You could start with Shay and just finish Shay's story, and then go play as Bella. You know, that, that's the nice thing about it. It's basically any time that you can go into your inventory, you can change characters. So there really is a lot of freedom, which you don't often see in adventure games like this. And honestly, I think that's probably the best feature of this game. I think it, it just... I don't know why it works so well, but it does. I think it's because it's so easy to get stuck on adventure games, so kind of having having the choice to stop and and still play, if that makes sense, at any time that you want is, is a huge feature. But as I said, you know, I, I love the art, I love the music, the voice acting is phenomenal, they've got a great cast, you know, I only mentioned four or five big names, but every voice is really well done. The gameplay is really, really well done. I had fun all the way through. I was never, like, too terribly stuck. And when I came upon the answer, I didn't think that it was abstract or unfair or anything. So, what I'm gonna say is, if you are, if you are a fan of, like, classic adventure games, you need, you know, you need to own Broken Age. Like, it's, it's like the perfect modern representation of classic adventure games. And especially because, it, you know, it's got Double Fine and Tim Schafer attached to it. It just, I mean, it makes it like the adventure game lover's perfect game, basically. 
And even if you have never played an adventure game, I mean, I've played a few, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not an expert at them. So, you know, even if, even if it's your first adventure game, this is like a really, really, really great one to start out with. So, what I'm going to say is, you know, like I said, if, if you've played these kind of games before, you're going to love it. If you haven't and you think you might like this kind of gameplay, it only gets better from here. So the beginning is great and it just gets wilder and it gets even better throughout. So you know, I'm kind of just going to give a blanket recommendation for Broken Age to everyone, but that's just because I loved it so much. You know, I had a great time with it and I honestly think you will too. So with that being said, I will kind of wrap up here though. As always, leave comments if there is anything that you want to comment on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, subscribe to the channel to see more of my videos every single day. And if you like my look at Broken Age, please consider clicking the like button, because that could help me out a lot, and I appreciate everything that you do to help. So, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.